Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got another box of 1819 Upper Deck Black Diamond Hockey coming at you. One box, random team break number 12. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. One spot gets you three, so let's triple that list up. There are the combos right there. And then the rest, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. The full 12, come on, random.org. Full 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve times, we've got Jack down to William. Six and a six, twelve times. Ram.org. Thanks a lot, too. Why can't they all be like three? Twelfth and final time. After 12 times, Ducks down to Golden Knights. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen? So we're doing a playoff season. Playoffs. It's a pretty exciting time of the of the year, even for casual hockey fans, very casual hockey fans like myself. Playoff hockey is always exciting. Ducks for Jack. Andrew with the Dallas Stars. Jack with the Rangers. Ryan with the Panthers. William with the Oilers. Jack with the Blues. Rich with the Flyers. J-Mac, you got the Canucks. Jack with the Capitals. And the Coyotes Blue Jackets combo. William with the Canadiens. Ryan with the Devils. J-Mac, last spot mojo. Wild. Andrew. And you also have the Avs with the other last spot mojo. And the Blackhawks. Andrew with the Jets. William with the Maple Leafs. William is saying Boston. The Boston Bruins are going to win it. Rich. Tampa Bay Lightning. What about the Lightning? Haven't they been, they've been playing like incredible hockey? J-Mac with the Sharks, blah, blah, blah. You guys see the rest. My voice is starting to hurt. John Tamlinson says uh, Golden Knights, which William has for trade. All right, and let's figure out which box we're going to do. We have box one, three, four, and five. We did pop open a fresh... Uh, inner case from a fresh master case. We'll go with that one. If I ever roll a Yahtzee, folks, all sixes, I'll give away $6 of break credit in that break. We haven't done it yet. All right, one, one, three, four, five. If I roll a two or a six, I'll just roll again. And it's four. And then for the next break, we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. <laughs> I know, Eric Bailey. What was I doing over the weekend? Must have been doing a lot of yelling. <laughs> you know, it's actually been kind of dry and very windy. If you if you're if anybody's watching the the Angels game, they might be showing some of it on MLB Network. You'll see the wind swirling all over, blowing trash all over the place. It's been extremely windy and dry, so it's been screwing with my. Yeah, Vegas. Anybody? Any, if if not. All right, maybe not. Sorry, William. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. For you uh, old school guys out there, if you're wondering what Mark Gubaza is doing, he's the uh, the color commentator on Fox Sports West doing Angels broadcasts. If you're curious. It's like, where's Mark Gubaza? What's he doing? What's that guy doing? Was Mark Gubaza a submarine pitcher? When he was on the Royals? No. Dan Quisenberry. Dan Quisenberry was a submarine style pitcher. He went on a lot of teams, but but he was on the Royals. I think maybe with Gubaza. Their Royals years. And then Gubaza was with the Angels for a bit too. Where's my name? The Saberhagen, I think, was a sidearm. I'm talking straight up submarine. It was Quisenberry, I think. Bill Mosher's wondering, what, what do mid-level pra- players do when their career is over? Like, what does Garrett Richards do every day? I mean, if he's invested right, I guess he's 
suppose I doesn't have to do anything. I don't know. You like run a business, right? You buy a franchise of something, you know. Or you could just golf all day, yeah. There's Jordan Greenway. Co coaching? A lot of guys go into, end up in coaching, right? They'll coach their kid's high school team or something like that. Or their travel team. There's rookie gems for the uh, wild, right? This is a, That's a wild. Goes to J-Mac, last spot mojo. 118 out of 249, Patrick Lyonet for the Jets. That'll be for Andrew D. And then we've got Diamond Mine Relics. Taylor Hall for the New Jersey Devils. Ryan for the New Jersey Devils. The book, behind the book, is Martin Brudor. 42 out of 49. Nice relic there for the New Jersey Devils. It's another one for Ryan. And the book, the book is going to be, bam, for the Blackhawks, Dylan Sakura. We've got a dual relic. There's a relic on this side. There's a relic on that side. There's his autograph right there. 96 out of 99, Dylan Sakura. Chicago Blackhawks, that'll go to J-Mac. Another last spot mojo win right there. And your exquisite pack will yield a Ryan Donato for the Bruins. 97 out of 225. That'll go to Jack and the Boston Bruins. Quisenberry's not with us anymore? Brian O saying that it was Dan Quisenberry with the submarine style pitch, but he passed away at 45. This is... I don't know if that's awfully young. All right, folks. Well, there you go. We got more Black Diamond in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one next time. Bye-bye. RIP, Dan Quillenberry.